All right, so this is a product unboxing of an Otterer. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, uh, I'm gonna call it a wireless portable air compressor because that's easier to pronounce than Otter. All right, <clears throat> so I picked up one of these uh, because when I um, go to my races, I don't want to carry an air pump with me because it's a pain in the butt. Uh, I saw somebody else that had one of these at a race and I thought to myself, man, that is the way to go. So I finally picked one up for myself. So let's, uh, let's crack it open here. Comes in a nice bag. Oh, it's got a handle so you can, you can carry it and look cool. Wireless portable air compressor. All right, comes with the manual in case you need to look up, I don't know how to put air in a, in a tire or let's see, um, maybe if, if you need to know how to put air in a, in a whale or a duck, this is the book. So you can study up on that. Okay. All right. And go look at that later so that must be the charger I'm guessing for the battery uh, looks like we can take it on the road and plug it into your cigarette lighter of course I don't think anybody actually uses a cigarette lighter to light cigarettes anymore so here is the compressor and here's the battery Battery's even got a, a gauge on it, so it looks like it's uh, charged up there. It looks like you can even use it to charge your phone. Plug your phone cord in there and charge up your phone. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got some some adapters here. Okay, so looking at the things it comes with, it comes with uh, four valve stem caps, in case you were missing some on your car. Uh, it comes with an adapter for a Presta valve on a bicycle, so Schrader to Presta valve. These are for inflating your pool toys, inflating a ball. And my best guess on this thing, which is not in the manual, is this is also for inflating like pull toys or inner tubes, something that has a, a valve that you would normally blow on with your lips. I think you just kind of clamp this on there, the valve right there and let it go. Okay, uh, also this hose, is removable so if you wanted to you could take the hose off take the hose off and so you want it to air up your basketball you can So, uh, a couple of things. If you hold down the minus and the plus button at the same time, it actually gives you the battery voltage for your battery. So, that, that's a nice feature. So you know when it needs to be recharged. Uh, also, the LED light in the front here, if you, if you push short press the minus button, one time it'll turn it on. Press it again, it'll steady flash. Press it again and it actually flashes SOS. So, pretty cool. Um, 
one other thing I did, I, pro I brought another drill, a cordless drill, a regular cordless drill to compare size. Oh, it looks like you can charge with the battery plugged into the compressor. That's pretty nice. All right, let's 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 plug in the battery and fire it up. All right, so the battery's in. Oh, it's loud. It's got a nice uh, display here. It shows the pressure. And we're gonna we're gonna actually hook it up to a, a car in a second, but uh... oh, so looks like you can cycle through different applications. So 36 psi for a car or motorcycle. You got 60 for a bicycle tire. Um, eight for a basketball and i'm guessing those are gonna be programmable because i don't put 60 in my bike tire or 36 in my motorcycle tire in my car yes okay also ah okay so there's a dial on the side here and that's what you use to adjust the pressure so i'm um, just adjusted it down I can dial it up that's pretty nice that's easy so, and for comparison here here's here's a drill just a regular craftsman drill you can see the compressor is just a, a little bit bigger <clears throat> they'll fit in the in the truck real nice when we go racing so uh, why don't we go give it a shot on a real a real tire all right we found a found a tire that needs a little bit of air so we're gonna try to air this one up stopped automatically pretty cool feature there. So I'll jump up to 38. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Okay, so I got a tire pressure gauge and I'm gonna check the pressure before we pump it up and after, so. It's like we're at 29.1. All right, so we'll go ahead and connect her up. Fire up the compressor. Uh, looks like we got a disagreement between the, the two sensors, so we'll see what happens at the end. Okay, it says 36. Well, let's take it off and check. Help if I turned on the pressure gauge. We're actually at 38. Okay, so we got to test this out. I like the size of this, and it, it's really, it's not too heavy. It's easy to, to use and operate. Um, right off the bat, some drawbacks, which you saw. Um, it looks like the, the pressure sensor in here is a couple of pounds off. So make sure if you're going to use one of these and you want to be really close on your pressures, make sure that you're double checking it with something that is uh, more accurate. Uh, especially if you're going to use this like on your dirt bike, because uh, if you're like me, you're not running real high pressures on your dirt bike and two pounds is going to make a big difference. So uh, double check it. Uh, that's one thing that that kind of concerns me and if if it gets better or worse i can come back and report to you how it went another thing i don't i don't know how long this display is going to last because if you push on it just a little bit you'll see that the the segments kind of go dark um 
a little, little concerned about that. The, they come back eventually, but it kind of gives me the impression that it's not too durable. It's a, it's a little fragile, so might want to take it easy on that. So that's my review. Wireless Smart Portable Air Compressor by Otter. Um, I'm going to use it for a little bit and I can give you an update on it later. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one, I can put the link to Amazon in the description. Um, make sure if you want to see more of these product reviews that you subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching.